Hello and welcome to this brand new lesson by Albanith. This was a request on this channel, so hopefully uh, you enjoy it. Thank you very much for uh, participating. Let's dive in and check in the first video where we see the opening and that beautiful melody that Albanith has. Mallorca by Isaac Itzak. Isaac. Isaac Albanith. <laughs> Mayoko by Albanith. Okay, welcome to the first micro study. Remember, drop D tuning. Fingering wise, you're in an open position. We have the low D pulsing along at three beats across the bar. Two and three here at third, and you're gonna do a pull off B flat to A. But, now this is the tricky bit that B flat pull off needs a pull off note has to land at the same time as the A so that's timing half bar two two off you see my third finger coming back on for that B flat twice to practice this what I suggest you do and this is just a quick suggestion is one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And into the next bar. Fantastic first opening. I love this. Make sure it is nice and quiet and that you're getting that one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, welcome to micro study number two. I'm gonna keep these short and sweet so that we can roll them through this. Here we have three and two moving up to seven and eight because we need the G sharp. So that's a one on a G sharp, open A, and then staying in position, pivoting to get that wonderful D minor chording. Make it as sweet as possible. And then we repeat that. Off, three, Six. Join them up with the violin slide. Like I said, loads of violin slides in this to make this as legato as possible. And then we're into that opening first melody. So again, what I suggest you do is you chunk microstudy one and microstudy up two together. Start learning it bar by bar, and then put the first two bars to the second two bars, but then do the middle two bars so that you get the change. That's how we roll here. Tuck it up into small information and then build from note by note, bar by bar, phrase by phrase. Let's see where this goes in this wonderful melody. Welcome to bar five. Now, I'm gonna offer two different ways of playing this. First way is the standard way. Second way is my way, so I will let you choose. Standard way says half bar at five, everything under the bar. Melody, accompaniment, Four and three, two, again, bar taking care of that G, the bar takes care of the E, the G four, one, four, two. Great, nothing wrong with that, that's your core. However, I don't like it for one very simple reason. I cannot do this. Can you hear the difference? Doesn't matter how much I wiggle that bar, I don't get this. So yes, I am going to lose some with my fingering, some legato, but actually not much because of the speed of the piece. So here we go, my fingering. One on tone, no bar. Four and three, nice and quiet. Then, open E, G, one, four, two. So that sounds like. And then we're into the next micro study. A couple of other things here that are really, really important. Please notice with my right hand, and I'll, I'll zoom in on this angle, I am doing a backside rest stroke. And I will do a rest stroke front side with my M as well at certain points because I want this note popping up. I don't want this. I 
want it loud. The other thing is, don't do this super bad. It's accompaniment. So let's see where Albeda takes us next. Welcome to the answering phrase. We've had that wonderful melody and this is what Albeda does with it. So we have five again, low D. First ornament, it's a little tiny mordant, four two. Three up onto seven A, one, three, two. And then your third finger is just gonna float up. I'm using open strings. Fourth finger on a D sharp. Then it's possible one, two, four, open strings, or one, two, four, one, four, two, mordant, one, two, one, stretch out a little bit, B flat with an open G, two on the E, first finger hits that C sharp, cross note. Now this is a fantastic, fantastic moment, and when you put it all together, and you're back in. Now please notice there, right on the end, because I, I was hitting an open A, I stopped it. Okay, super important. I haven't really discussed that too much, but every time you've got an open A, you're gonna have to do that stop very, very important for keeping the voices clear. Welcome to the repeat idea. Melody coming back again. I'm just gonna play through it. Violin slide. New material, F major. Third finger on a C at five. Second finger prepping for that D flat. First finger taking care of the B flat. F, two, down. Okay, notice that my bar is still on. I've used my bar there. Look at that, bar comes off there. Violin slide, connect the dots, one, six. And then we're into the next video in essence. That is already quite a bit for this piece. Notice that my fingering is taking into account the piano's uh, ability to sustain. I am trying my level best to sustain as much as possible. I am also trying to connect any really big shifts because this is an arrangement. It's not made for guitar and so I have to make adaptions with the musical ideas in it because they're not going to always fall nicely under the fingers like you would do in a guitar harmony. So keep that all in mind. The next video is going to pop along just about now, diving into the rest of Mallorca by Albania.